On the fifth day of beer, Miss My True Love gave to me Victory's Merry Monkey. It's a Belgian ale with cranberry, orange peel, and cinnamon and nutmeg. Wow, that sounds good. <laughs> Mary, it is good. This beer is another one that's been aging for a whole year. It says, and to all a good night, this Belgian style holiday ale combines the beloved flavor profile of Golden Monkey with notes of cranberry, orange peel, cinnamon, and nutmeg to deliver a delightfully smooth finish. Perfect for merry gatherings with family and friends. The malts used in this are Pilsner roasted mar malted barley. The hops are Cascade and Tetney. Tetness is in here? Tetanus beer. You up to your up to date with your shots? The best by date was September thirteenth, two thousand twenty-two. Why do we think that we can age these ales and pilsners and stuff? Well, we'll talk about that a little bit later. But uh, yeah, this has been a holdover, waiting for us to review it because we didn't get to it last year. All right. I mean, it does any, sound good. Any thoughts? It sounds good. I mean, I had a whole six pack of this, so I drank the other five last year. Did I have one? You tried it, I think. Um, I'm not a super huge fan of cranberries. Like, I don't eat, like, cranberries at Thanksgiving or right. the jelly or whatever you want to call it. I, but I think in a beer it works. Victory Monkey, I've had read one on the channel before, the Sour Monkey. Um, that was super good. So, I mean, I have high hopes for this. I remember it just a little bit from last year. So I'm excited to try it again. Same. That's enough talking. Let's get to drinking. All right, it's time to see if this monkey is as merry as they say. And let's ho ho open this beer. Victory bottle cap. I got a question for you. I got an answer. Are you a monkey man? A monkey man. Oh. Don't monkey. Oh, oh monkey rolling. I'm glad that you're a monkey woman too. Oh, it smells like a lager. Well, it makes sense. They use Pilsner uh, and roasted barley. That's it. it. Smells like wheat. I have a feeling the flavor is going to surprise us. Hope so. Is this just pure alcohol? What's happening in here? This is all just alcohol and, and nutmeg. Yeah, they use nutmeg, cinnamon, cranberry, and orange peel. Um, yeah, disclaimer, we are having this past its good by date. <laughs> this is just all alcohol and nutmeg, I feel like. You have a guess as to the percentage on this? A lot. Like, nine something. Which final is answer? weird. What's your final, a, I need a final answer. It's a, it's a... What are they calling it again? A pilsner? A lager? This is a Belgian ale. I feel like they shouldn't be that high, but I feel like this is like a nine and a half or something. You haven't had very many Belgian ales. They're not that high. No, they're not. Belgians have regular, double, and triple. Well, this is a triple. Oh, Nine and a half. No, nine point six. Final answer? 9.7. It is 10%. <sighs> Jesus. This is like a stout. Pfft, come on. Stouts are around 10%. Don't say that. Don't be smirched the name of a stout. I remember this was a little tough to drink even last year when it was fresh. You said you drink a whole six pack by yourself. Not in one night. But why would you keep drinking them? Well, I think, honestly, I think this did taste a little better fresh or I'm misremembering. I don't but get, a lot of spices left. I don't get any... <coughs> I don't get any... Shoot, either. I don't get any cranberry, orange peel... Yep. Or, I mean, I do cinnamon. get a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg. This yeah. could honestly be a pumpkin beer and I wouldn't even know it. It's just spiced. Yeah. But, I mean, even the pumpkin beer tastes a little better than this. I, I don't know. This current iteration, I'm going to give it a 2. Disclaimer, pumpkin beers didn't taste better than this. I would take this over pumpkin beer any day. Who are you going to rate it? Chill. <laughs> we rated so many pumpkin beers higher than that. It's just a... 
a spiced alcohol. Like this is a lot of alcohol for nothing, for no give. What? <laughs> It's already in, yeah. This is just a lot of alcohol, and I'm not enjoying it. I mean, it's just a waste of sobriety points. Sobriety points. Yeah, I agree. That's why I gave it a two. Why you gave it a two? Um, not a winner here. Uh, maybe another one that separately I'll have to try fresh. And... Yeah, I don't know. I really liked the idea behind it because it did remind me of that whatever that beer was that we had yeah. from Bottle Logic. But that was a sour. Was it? Yeah. Oh. Well, I mean, I think that it was the same things. It was cranberry and maybe a little bit of orange. orange. Um, it could work both ways, though, too, I feel like. It could be a, like a wheat beer, a Belgian mm-hmm. ale or something like that. Or it could be a sour. It could work both ways. It's just, I don't, I they missed the mark with no cranberries and no orange yeah. in here. Well, not a winner here from Victory, but um, don't worry, everyone. There are more... Christmas beers on the way. We got a good one next. One of Mary's all-time favorite beers. A stout. Click that bell icon. You don't want to miss it. Like the video. Share it. It's the season for sharing. And nothing wrong with sharing a little beer with your friends. But until next time, we're the Rumatures trying every beer around the world. One <laughs> sip at a time. Time to see if this Mary is as mucky as they say. Okay.